Nanobots are tiny robots the size of viruses that can investigate human cells, dissolve blood clots, or even clean water of contaminants. Consider it another instance of science fiction becoming reality. For a very long time, scientists have fantasized about creating microscopic robots that might move about inside our bodies, administering medications with unmatched precision and searching out and eliminating cancer cells. Although we haven't arrived yet, we are close. There are 25 million nanometers in an inch, and researchers from Arizona State University and China's National Center for Nanoscience and Technology NCNT, announced last month that they had created nanorobots that could shrink tumors by cutting off their blood supply when injected into the bloodstream of mice. The DNA sheets were wrapped into tubes containing a blood clotting medication to create the nanorobots. The scientists attached a little DNA molecule to the exterior that interacts with a protein that is only present in cancers. This molecule bound to the protein when the robots reach the tumors, causing the DNA tube to unroll and release the medicine. Due to their inability to distinguish between cancer and healthy cells, the majority of cancer medications frequently induce unpleasant side effects. The scientists demonstrated that the nanorobots exclusively affected the tumors and had no adverse effects on the body's other coagulation mechanisms. They claim that this provides a bright future for side effect free cancer treatments. A device like that is extremely dissimilar from the human scale robots that construct our automobiles and clean our floors. However, Wang Jun Ni, a professor at NCNT who worked on the nanorobots, notes that they are just like larger robots in that they can perceive their environment, navigate, and perform mechanical tasks. The researchers are working with a biotech firm to commercialize the cancer-fighting nanobots. And Ni nee says this is just a taste of what DNA nanorobots could do. What we call nanorobots are the next generation of nanomedicines because they give you much better control and can be made to work like a machine, he says. In the future we will demonstrate even more scenarios for our nanorobots from monitoring disease, to finding tissue damage, curing cancer and maybe even finding and destroying plaques in our blood vessels. Taking sci-fi cues At least as far back as the 1966 release of the film Fantastic Voyage, in which a submarine and its crew were condensed and inserted into a scientist's body to remove a potentially fatal blood clot, the concept of small disease-fighting machines operating inside the human body may be found. Of course, it's difficult to reduce humans, let alone machines, in real life. Electric motors, batteries, and computer chips are often too large to work inside the blood arteries or between cells. Yet, being able to access difficult-to-reach places of our bodies could have significant medical ramifications, therefore researchers are working feverishly to develop ways to power and manage inside the body robots. Nanorobots lingering in our circulation may improve the efficacy and minimize the adverse effects of potent medications as well as serve as illness early warning systems. Moreover, tiny wireless surgical equipment could enable surgeons to do surgeries without opening up patients. Miniature surgeons This final issue is being worked on by Eric Diller, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at the University of Toronto in Canada. He is creating tiny, under a millimeter wide robots that can be pulled through liquids and activated to grasp objects. The robots are made of elastic polymers that are loaded with magnetic particles. An array of electromagnets produces accurate magnetic fields that are used to guide these small robots. According to Diller, the robots may potentially be employed to carry medicine capsules within the body or gather tissue biopsies. But, Scientists at ETH Zurich in Switzerland have already tested a comparable magnetically guided microbot in a rabbit's eye, using it to puncture a blood vessel with its needle-like tip. His lab has not yet tested the gadgets in animals. The ultimate objective, according to Diller, is to develop a set of wirelessly powered surgical instruments. We would like to be able to inject surgical tools instead of having an open wound site, he explains. We could perform non-invasive, not merely minimally invasive, surgeries without making any exterior incisions or experiencing any post-operative difficulties. 
Odorized health. So-called nanomotors and micromotors are the method for microscopic medical robots that is most advanced and adaptable. These are materials in the form of microscopic particles, tubes, or wires. Like magnesium, carbon, and gold. They are either dragged or propelled by magnetic fields or ultrasonic waves, or they use bodily fuels like stomach acid or water to move forward. In order to deliver treatments more effectively, researchers have demonstrated that these devices can precisely locate to illness areas and can even delve deeply into sick tissue. They can produce considerably more sensitive methods to detect chemical signs of sickness when paired with biosensors like enzymes or antibodies because their movement causes them to collide with other molecules more frequently. By applying the same theory, they might one day be combined with nanosponges that can absorb toxins to produce small robots that can quickly remove hazardous compounds from the body. One of the pioneers in this area is Dr. Joseph Wong, a professor of nanoengineering at the University of California, San Diego. His study showed in August that treating stomach infections in mice with micromotors propelled by stomach acid instead of the treatment alone could treat them more successfully. Reclaimed. We just pour the engines in the stomach and they basically swim by themselves. It's similar to taking a drug and losing track of it, nanobots in nature. Their scientists are investigating how to control and direct the actions of nature's own small machines in the meantime. In December, sperm cells were treated with anti-cancer medications and outfitted with small magnetic harnesses by a team at the Leibniz Institute for Solid State and Materials Research in Germany. The harnesses allowed the researchers to steer the sperm toward tiny, in a petri dish produced cervical cancer tumors while the sperm tails provided propulsion. By three days, they had eliminated 87% of the tumor's cells. Or over, in 2016, a team from Polytechnique Montreal in Canada hijacked bacteria that naturally travel along magnetic field lines, loaded the organisms with cancer medications, and used artificial magnetic fields to direct the bacteria toward tumors in mice. Building in the body robots from the ground up will eventually allow us considerably more control over their operation, according to Diller. Yet since we're still a long way from being able to duplicate nature's inventions, these biohybrid strategies are a good notion for the time being. There is currently a strong case for employing these organisms that are already working and attempting to adapt them to achieve our objectives, the scientist claims. Pause equals one. They have a lot more utility than the things we can make now, one person said. If you are interested in AI you can join the next tech giant on Passive. Register for free at www.coolzone.ai